Hey guys, it's Jen, and today I am going to show you how to take these cool little wild rags that everyone wears in the winter, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can tie them. Uh, this particular rag, it's all silk. That's the only kind I wear generally because the silk does not let you sweat. This is a 36 by 36. And this one, I think, kind of limits the number of knots that you can tie when you wear it. So, I'm going to just show you a basic cowboy square knot right now. So, we'll put the rag on like this. Fold it, we'll fold it in half first, too. I like to get my braid out of the way. And then, your square knot is basically a right over left. And then left over right and then I just kind of try to work it back in through there till you get sort of an even knot coming out the other side there like that it can be right over left left over right either way doesn't matter it works both ways so that is your basis for it. okay so we're back we've got uh, this is like a 46 by 46, I believe, on this rag. It's handmade. It's a Buck Wild, Wild Rags. I think there's only maybe one or two of them. This is a silk rag as well. This one's really long. So this one, I'm gonna teach you guys how to tie like a mustache knot or a buckaroo square knot. It's, I've heard it called both. Um, this one's a little more complicated, but it sure looks prettier stays tied better I think and if you're um, using a really long rag like this I think it works better so tie ourselves in this sucker good hair out of the way the hair is always in the way all right so now we have both sides they're about the same length We'll wrap it like this. We'll slide this piece through right here. And then come back through. And we're gonna go over the top. And in right there. And then we ended up with two even pieces. So you can see why it would kind of look like a mustache. Not you can actually tie that in your horse's tail too. Which might be another video. We'll work on that <laughs> if I've got time. That is how you tie it, and if you look real close here, you can see there's a knot and not that. And that is how you can tie a buckaroo square knot or a mustache knot. So hopefully those two ways that I just gave you will be beneficial to you as it is wild rag season for a few more months in the cold northern tundra of South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, all those states, and hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thanks so much. Happy trails.